Hello and welcome to this video tutorial from computergargar.com and in this video we are going to look at how to create a five star rating system in Excel. So I have these six products, just six, and I've got a rating such as 4.3 and 3.2 and 4.6 and I would like a star rating, a five star rating next to it. Now to achieve this I want to use Excel's conditional formatting feature and I want to use their ratings icon set, this lovely three star rating set they've got. Now what I'm going to do here is you may have noticed I've got five different columns set up. So I'm going to put A star in each of the columns making up the five. They've only got three different stars here. So I'm going to use one of those stars in each one. So it's going to be a full star, a half star or a nothing. So in the case of you know, 4.6, for example, it's going to have four stars and a, a kind of half star. That's the plan. That's what I'm going for. Now, you may have also noticed I've written these numbers one to five on the right hand side. We can put these in any cells we want. They're just visible on screen for the purposes of the video. They would typically be hidden. I don't want them there. But I'm going to use those in the formula that you're going to see in a moment. I'm going to need to put a formula in each of these cells that make up the five star rating system and then we can do the conditional formatting after. Now what I want to do is I want a formula that's going to look at the rating, that 4.3, to go is 4.3 better than 1? Yes, put number 1 in that cell. Is it better than 2? Yes, put number 1 in that cell. Is it better than 3? Yes, put number 1 in that cell. And just basically keep going until they don't make it. Like 3.2 is not better than 4, so we know its position and we can apply the right star. So I'm going to put this formula in, talk a little bit as we go through, but I might explain it a bit more afterwards where it may make a bit more sense, and then we can do the conditional formatting rule. So I'm going to use the if function here. We're going to need two to be precise. So let me start with this if function, and we're going to test the value in cell B2, that rating. And I'm going to need to fix the uh, B portion of that so that when I copy the formula down, it moves into row 3, 4, 5. But when I copy the formula across, it does not move from B. And I want to test if that's greater than or equal to the first of my numbers on the right hand side, of which I will fix the row but not the column. Now, if that's the case, if that rating is bigger than or the same as that value, then simply put a number one in that cell. So that means full star. That's what that means, or it will mean when we get there. <laughs> Comma, if it's not, test it again. So I'm gonna to need to know, you know, what it is, where else it sits. Now this is where it might get a bit more complicated, which is why I mentioned about explaining it more afterwards maybe. I'm gonna bring the int function in here. I wanna extract the integer portion of that value, that rating. And I want to test if that integer portion, so in that first formula we're talking about the 4, I want to test if it is equal to the, the cell value, so the first one at the moment, but when we copy the formula, whatever the cell we're checking at the moment, at this point in time, take away 1. So once I've figured out that it's not better, so for example if I'm checking if that rating is greater than or equals 5, the number 5 over here when we get there, it's going to say no, it's not. 4.3 is not greater than or equals 5. So go away, extract the int portion, 4, is that better than 4? So 5 take away 1, is that better than the previous number? No, well, yes it is. Now, if it is, I'm going to bring in the mod function now. Then look at the modulus of that value, that rating value, and I want to divide it by one. That's going to be the divisor. So that would extract the decimal point of it, the point three. So that's what I want to do if we realize that it's not equal to that value, equal to the five in that case. After that modulus function, is going to be zero, which means no star rating. That's going to calculate the, um, or see whether it will calculate the kind of half star rating, then we've got a no star rating. 
So I'm going to try and explain this a bit more in a moment if it's looking a bit crazy. I don't know if you've used functions like ints and mod and stuff before, or even if, I don't know. I've got a, a video of different examples of mod, so those of you who've been watching my videos for a while uh, will hopefully be familiar with that one. But if I press enter on this, let's double check this even works before we go any further. And if I copy that formula across and I copy it down, as long as I've fixed my references accurately with my dollar signs, that should hopefully work. So you can see what it's doing here. The 4.3 is going, yeah, it's better than 1, better than 2, better than 3, better than 4, not better than 5, 0.3. And so on for the others. Now, the next one, is it better than 1, is it better than 2, is it better than 3? Uh, is better than four. No, extract it point two. But now I've got this zero here because of the way we tested this this bet element here. And I said, well, is um, is the integer portion three better than like five take away one? Is it better than four? No, it's not. Kind of scenario happened there. Put a zero. So that enabled that ensured that it's not going to put a zero point two there as well. I had that second test. Whereabouts does the integer portion fall? So we've got the values that we need now because of that formula. I'll make sure I'll put that formula in the description of the video, by the way, guys. So you can always copy and adapt that uh, if you wish. What we need now, though, is to get the star ratings in. So I'm going to highlight the cells needed, go into my conditional formatting, and click on New Rule. In new rule in the bottom half, I will choose icon sets for my style and I will look for the star ratings. Here they are. Now we need to apply you know the settings that we want. So you can do whatever you want here, you can choose whatever you wish, you can adapt to my example. What I'm definitely going to do is change this percent area, this type column on the end, to number, and in my example. I want to say, look, if the number's greater than or equals 1, then it's a full star. And if it's greater than or equals 0 0.5, it's a half star. So that's what I've got going on here. So that 0 0.2 won't be, that 0 0.6 will be. So you can adjust these figures. You may want to be more lenient than that. Anything less than 0 is a no star. So, or less than, sorry, I had to click away there. Less than 0 0.5 is a no star. So if I click OK now... Oh, hang on, sorry, one more thing. I want to tick show icon only. If I don't tick that, you know, I don't want these ones and 0.6 is showing. I don't want that. I just want the star. So show your icon only. Click OK. You can see the formula is still in the background doing its job, bringing that value. But the value is not displayed. My stars are. You can then apply any formatting that you wish. So I may center align those stars. You might want to look at maybe hiding the grid lines or any other formatting elements to bring that out. You know, these numbers don't need to be visible. They could be on a different sheet or hidden. And that is our rating system. If you go over and put a different rating in, if I put a 4 in, then the star ratings will change in front of our very eyes. So that is how you can create a 5 star rating system in Excel using their conditional formatting functionality. I hope you found that video useful. Please check out some of our other videos on our YouTube channel and come check us out at computergaga.com.